Today we're going to learn how to change the tire or put on the spare tire on a 2012 Honda Odyssey. First thing you need to do is know where the spare is located and if you'll pull up this carpet you'll notice that there's the uh, outline of where the spare tire will be. So you just go ahead and pull up the carpet and then you, you can see uh, where it's located, there's a handle you can use to lift it up and slide it out. And then just go ahead and pull this out. And there you have the, uh, the spare tire with the tools that you'll need to change the tire. And it's pretty cool because they have a bag that you can actually um, store your tire in, uh, or your flat tire. Uh, so that it doesn't make a mess. But uh, and then it's got some instructions as to what you need to do in order to get the spare out. Uh, the tools that you'll need to jack up your car, and they're located. It's conveniently located just in this little plastic thing. Uh, so you just go ahead and pull that out, and you can see I've already used it before. I had to got a flat tire up in the canyon and had to uh, place uh, the tire and put the small donut on. Now the tools that you're going to use, you'll have a tire iron. Uh, this will be used to take the uh, lug nuts off. Uh, then you have the jack, uh, which is located here. And then you have the device that you'll use to help jack up the car. And so you'll need those three things in order to jack your car up. One thing you'll always want to do before you start jacking your car up is to put on the emergency brake. Uh, that'll keep the car from rolling. You can then just go ahead and pull your the donut out. I call it the donut. It's just a small tire. And this is what you'll use to uh, to replace your flat tire with. Next thing you want to do is just uh, without jacking the car up, you want to loosen the lug nuts, and it's best just to use your body weight to loosen them up rather than, so you can see, you can use your body weight to get them loose. Rather than trying to pull and make it more difficult. So you want to get them all loose a little bit. Double check, make sure I've got them all loose. Because if you don't do it when the, if you do it, try to do it when the car's jacked up, uh, the, the wheel will rotate. You want to just rotate this up a little bit so it will fit underneath. You don't want to, it makes it a little bit easier to do it uh, just by itself. And then you'll notice under here there's a little metal strip. You can see it right here. That's what the area that you want to use to jack your car up. This metal strip area right here. So then you just raise it up by hand and you'll see there's a little groove right here and that will fit into that slot so you just by hand just raise it up until it's nice and snug okay and then you go ahead and attach the device to jack the car up put this in and you're just going to use this tire iron to rotate it you want to try and get, if you can, sometimes you don't have an option to put it on a flat surface because of where you get the flat tire, but you want to try and have it on a, uh, a flat surface. And then you just rotate it and get it up far enough so that you can take your tire off. want to put some blocks underneath the wheels. I didn't do that because I've got it um, the front wheels into the curb so it's not going to roll. Okay, just about a few more turns and we'll have it high enough that the tire will make will be clear. It looks like we're uh, got the wheel off the ground so we'll go to that point. Okay, it's, it's probably a good idea if you have access to it and you might, might not if you're off the side of the road but if you have a jack stand uh, it's good to help in case the, the uh, jack 
doesn't work properly, then this can possibly catch your car. So it's always good to use extra precaution and, and use a jack stand. The okay, next thing you do is you're just going to uh, loosen the uh, lug nuts up a little bit more. Then you can just take them off by hand. We'll want to just go ahead and take off the tire. Like I mentioned, they provide this bag that you can throw your tire in, and then that way you don't get your collar all dirty. Then the next thing you'll want to do is just go ahead and throw your the donut tire on. And you want to go kind of in a star motion, a star direction when you put these on so that they tires not more secure on one side than the other. Just hand tighten them and just go in a star pattern so you can just go across. Then you'll go ahead and tighten it. You can go in a star pattern when you tighten them. You can just get it nice and snug. Then when you lower it, you're going to tighten the lug nuts again just to make sure that they're secure. Now one thing you need to remember, when you're driving on this small tire, there are some recommendations that you need to follow. Uh, you want to look in the owner's manual, but it, it states on here the recommended speed is only 50 miles per hour. And make sure you always keep your uh, tire inflated. Now this one says 60 PSI, so your, your uh, vehicle might be a little bit different. But check the, uh, check the owner's manual. Make sure you follow those guidelines, otherwise you run the risk of... Uh, uh, ruining the wheel bearings. Now to lower the vehicle you just do the opposite. Put this back on. Make sure you remove it. 